Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to be talking to you about orgasmic creation or sex magic and I'm going to try to take away some of the mystery around it and just kind of lay it out on the line. What is it and how can you start to do it? I'm very excited about this topic. My name is Anne Marie and I teach women about their sexuality, their sexual nature and um, my approach to this work is all about spiritual embodiment as my real passion in this life is helping people to remember their spiritual nature. So orgasmic creation involves two things, being orgasmic and having a desire. And that's it. Those are the only two components that you need in order to become your own orgasmic creatrix today. Now, being orgasmic, let's break that down. Being orgasmic is your true nature. It's what you really are. It's what we as human beings are, are meant to be. If you think of the vision of a tree, a tree grows up from the earth and the branches come out and they get leaves and they sometimes have flowers, sometimes they have fruit. Or a tree is living in an orgasmic state all the time, always expanding and growing up and out towards the sun. It's energy radiating out from itself in a very life-giving way. And so we as humans are also like that. And it's possible for us to live in this orgasmic state. Now, the reason why we don't, there are many, many reasons for that. And that's the work that I do, that I teach. I help women to heal their sexual trauma and heal their sexual, um, the, the hangups, the, sh the, sh the shame that comes around that. And I do that with a tool called Yoni Eggs. Um, one of the things, one of the keys that I can tell you today to healing your sexual energy right now is to stay in the moment with yourself. Do not leave yourself when something comes up during a sexual experience that is uncomfortable. So what happens when our sexual energy starts to radiate up and through the body, and as women, that's, that's how our sexual energy naturally moves from the womb all the way up through the solar plexus into the heart, into the throat, up through the third eye, out the crown chakra, and expands out and around and down the body again, creating a very um, um, a very activated auric field when our sexual energy starts to channel in this way. Now what happens for a lot of human beings, this includes men, is that when our energy starts to move in this way, we as humans are not able to hold that much pleasure. The, the sexual energy starts to push up against memories that we've suppressed and don't want to think about, or trauma that we've experienced, or there's shame around it. There's shame that we shouldn't feel this good, or there's shame that, that sexual energy in general is a bad thing that we will go to hell for. For those of you raised in religious backgrounds, you can understand that one. Um, in some religious backgrounds, not all. But this is a really big thing that's happening for, for women is that we're making ourselves wrong for being human. <laughs> being human means allowing the sexual energy to flow up and through. This is really the way that the human being was created to uh, just like a tree, just like all, um, all things in nature are orgasmic. And so there is, there's a really strong desire for us to, to be safe and to feel like we belong. And so in order to fit into, so this whole tribe, there's like this tribal wound of not wanting to be different than the tribe or break the rules of the tribe, which for a lot of us was a religion. And so this, this blocks our sexual nature. This blocks our sexual energy. And so that's the number one key to being an orgasmic creatrix is allowing your orgasmic energy to flow up and, th up and through you freely. And like I already said, that also requires you being able to stay with any uncomfortable feelings or emotions that come up without blocking them or pushing them away. And then the second part of that formula, having the desire, is exactly what it sounds like having a desire. And so for the women that I teach, some of the examples that I give are, you know, there was a woman and she was on a trip. So she was at a hotel and it was bright and she desired sunglasses. She thought, oh, I wish I brought my sunglasses. And when she went back to her room and sat down in her chair, there was a, the, a pair of designer sunglasses that got kind of stuck in the crack of the chair. And so immediately her desire for sunglasses was manifested into her life. 
um, other sort of more mm, maybe bigger desires that we as humans have is a desire for community, a desire to be seen, to be felt, to be understood, to belong. Um, and this is also something that a lot of the women that I work with experience. So the women say to me over and over and over again that they find tribe, they find sisterhood. When they start to work with the womb, clear the womb, heal the energy that comes up and out, allow themselves to feel deeply, allow themselves to really be orgasmic, they find tribe. And a beautiful example that I always give is of a woman that I worked with, was working with, um, she was at a work conference. She lived. She worked in a male-dominated field, so she, she didn't have a lot of friends through work. And she also wasn't a mom, so she didn't have that kind of network of women. And she was at a conference that was all men, or so she thought. And on the last day of this conference, um, a woman came up and introduced herself to my client. Long story short, they bonded. Even though they lived um, hundreds of miles away from this conference, they actually only lived two miles from each other. And a strong sisterhood was created um, between these two women. And like I said, the story is not uncommon. I hear that over and over again. And I, I love teaching this work and sharing these kinds of stories with women because there is a there is a power in our womb, these desires for sisterhood, for belonging. These, these are the desires for, for community to be fully felt, to be fully seen. And this, this happens simply by tapping into the womb, by feeling the womb, by consciously going there and remembering its energy and its frequency on its own. And so for those of you still watching and wanting to experience some of this on your own, in the link to this video, there is a free womb awakening meditation that I have. Um, so just click that link and I'll be sending that meditation into your inbox. For those of you who feel you really want to take this journey further, there's also a link to my online Yoni Egg Initiation, which is a, a course that you can learn at home on your own. Um, six different modules helping you to awaken your sensual nature, clear your energy body, and learn how to use yoni eggs, which are a tool, an ancient tool, for helping women to heal and cultivate their sexual energies and then um, channel it into the body so they can use it for the, the things they really want to use it for and really just harness this vital source of energy and this vital source of nutrients that is available to you and all human beings. Um, Thanks for watching. My name is Anne Marie. Please comment below with what this video brought up for you. If you've ever experienced orgasmic creation before, if you want to learn more, if you have any questions, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And um, have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye bye.